Revising Atoms and Elements Part 1. What is an atom? An atom is a minute unit of matter. In fact, atoms are so tiny that just to be able to see something, you'd need billions of atoms all joined together. All atoms are made up of the same two basic parts. First, there is the nucleus in the middle of the atom. And going around the outside of the atom are electrons. Most of the atom, though, is just empty space in between the nucleus and the electrons. The nucleus is made up of two different particles. There are the protons and the neutrons. Protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. Neutrons don't have any charge at all. Atoms like to have the same number of protons and electrons so that it is neither positively or negatively charged overall. Different types of atoms have different numbers of protons. The number of protons is referred to as the atomic number. Protons and neutrons are much bigger than electrons. In fact, electrons are so tiny that their mass can hardly be measured at all. The atomic mass of an atom is equal to the weight of its nucleus. Here, let's look at zinc atoms as an example. Zinc has an atomic number of 30. That means that it has 30 protons. If the zinc atom is balanced, that also means it has 30 electrons. Its atomic mass is 65.38. Let's just look at the whole numbers. 65. 65 minus 30 is 35. That means it has approximately 35 neutrons. Here are a couple of extra terms that you may have come across. The first one is iron. This is not the element iron, which is spelt with an R in it. An iron is an atom that is either picked up extra electrons or lost some electrons. Remember, electrons have a negative charge. So if there are more electrons than there are protons, then the matter is going to be negatively charged overall. If there are less electrons than protons, then the matter is going to be positively charged. The second word that you may have come across is an isotope. An isotope is an atom that's picked up extra neutrons. Remember, neutrons are quite heavy. So if you pick up extra neutrons, then you're going to become a heavier atom. If you lose some neutrons, you're going to become a lighter atom. And this will affect how you behave. So ions are about gaining extra electrons or losing electrons. And isotopes are about gaining neutrons or losing neutrons. Remember, though, the whole time that the number of protons always stays the same and that determines the type of atom it is. Okay, time for a quick activity. Same, same but different. How are Lego blocks and atoms similar and how are they different? Draw up a table in your books and see how much you can fill in to help you with your revision. The first row is about size. Well, Lego blocks we know are quite big. We can see them easily, but we can pick them up easily. What about atoms? How many atoms do you think could fit on a single full stop? 
well, it's going to be more than 100. It is, in fact, about 100 billion. See if you can do the rest yourselves. Variation. What is the difference between different types of Lego blocks? What's the difference between different types of atom? How many different types of Lego blocks are there? How many different types of atoms are there? How do Lego blocks connect together? Can all Lego blocks connect up with any other Lego block? Now, what about atoms? How do atoms connect up? Can all atoms connect up with other atoms? Finally, think about the parts of the building blocks. Can a Lego brick be broken down into different parts? What about an atom? Have you managed to fill it in? Pause the video before checking your answers. Here's my go at completing the table. I can see that Lego bricks are different from each other by their colour and size, but it's the number of protons in an atom that makes atoms different from each other. I can see there are 2,200 different types of Lego block, but only 118 different types of atom that we know about. All Lego blocks can connect to any other brick, but for atoms, only certain ones will join up with other ones, and that will depend on the electrons and how many there are in the outer shell. A Lego block cannot be broken into smaller parts. An atom can be broken into its subatomic particles, the electron, the proton, and the neutron. In the next video, we're going to look at what an element is.